back here at home. The NYPD has beefed up security over the course of the last week. Let's get right out to Fox 5's Stephanie Brutini, live outside the criminal courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Stephanie, what's the scene like out there? And Natasha, Steve, security is increasing as we speak, and that's because the NYPD must be ready for anything. Barricades and police presence around and close to the courthouse and the building that houses the district attorney's office in Manhattan tonight. As the NYPD is increasing security following news, the grand jury voted to indict former President Donald Trump. While you'll see an increased uniformed presence throughout the five boroughs, there are currently no credible threats to New York City. The department remains ready and available to respond. Fox 5 News has confirmed all NYPD officers scheduled for tomorrow are to be in uniform regardless of rank at 7 a.m. They need to be ready for anything, says retired NYPD sergeant and current adjunct professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, Joseph Jackalone. Remember, the NYPD, uh, they have about 30,000 cops that are going to be ready to go. Possible protests, threats to the building, or individuals all important to law enforcement, says Jackalone. And he says as this progressive security will likely grow. And I think you're going to see what we refer to as alphabet soup. You're going to see the U.S. Secret Service, the FBI. You're going to see a whole host of federal agencies down here. Uh, it's just not going to be the NYPD, and there's going to be a lot of security. I mean, listen, there might even be... Uh, you know, snipers on roofs in and around the area. This is video of District Attorney Alvin Bragg leaving the courthouse surrounded by security this evening. This comes less than a week after his life was threatened. As we reported, a package with suspicious white powder was delivered to the mailroom of the building that houses the DA's office, along with a note saying, Alvin, I'll kill you. We touch base with the mayor's office. We learned tonight the mayor is in close contact with the police commissioner. The mayor's office also telling us there are no credible threats to the city right now. Back to you two inside. Very well. All right. Thank you, Stephanie.